and welcome to Quake for week three. This week we're learning about the Breastplate of Righteousness. Make sure you've got your pens and your worksheets printed out. Uh, yeah, we've got a hectic program planned for this week. We've got songs, we've got games, we've got a talk, we've got a memory verse to practice. So exciting. Can't wait. So over the weeks you've been given like a armor figure printout sort of thing and last week you got the belt of truth which you'd print out, color it in and attach to your person. So I want to show you what I've done with mine. Just like that. See that? So I've colored in my belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness which you'll get this week and I've sort of given my Roman soldier a shirt. I haven't colored everything else in yet because I'm waiting for uh, those armor pieces to come on uh, throughout the weeks. Uh, and then I've also labeled what they are to remind me what they are, just like that. And I've also given my guy, like he's standing on the ground and there's grass, just to add to it. I'll add a sky later and all that. So yeah, get keen. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be sharing my testimony with you all. Being a Christian, as we know, can be tricky. And one very important thing that all Christians should have, especially in tricky times, is people who support them in their faith. These are known as Christian communities. In fact, a Christian community in the form of a camp is how I became a Christian myself. On my 10th birthday, I went on a camp where each day we learn about how and why to put faith in God. At this camp, I had the opportunity to talk to some really cool people about God. They helped me to understand that although we may not always understand it, God has a plan. For someone growing up in a non-Christian home such as myself, it was and is a huge comfort to know that God's plans always prevail. Over the next few years, I continued to attend camp, and during that time, I joined a church, I was baptized and confirmed, and eventually joined youth group at Elwood. And although there have been ups and downs, finding God gave me the confidence to continue to make the best out of seemingly bad situations. This is why I think it is so important to find people who share your faith, because strong Christian communities can grow and nourish people in faith. So, I hear you want to play a game. Well, I challenge thee to a game of this or that or that. The game is very simple and I'll teach you how to play. There are three actions you can pick from and they're all to do with the armour of God. First action, the trumpet announcing to everyone that Jesus has already won the battle. Number two, the belt, the belt of truth. Number three, the breastplate of righteousness. Three actions. One, two, make a belt, three. And here's how the game is going to work. I'm going to turn my back, and in three, two, one, I'm going to turn around and pick one of them. If I pick the same one as you, you're out, and you have to go back. But, if you beat me ten times, you may pass. You may go on to the rest of the video. Three, two, one. I picked the Herald. Do, 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 do. If I pick that, if you pick that, you're out. Three, two, one. Pick one. Breastplate. Oh, I got you. I see you right there, don't try and lie. Three, two, one. <gasps> Breastplate again! Haha, <laughs> you thought you tricked me. Number four. Three, two, one. Herald! Do, 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 do. Three, two, one. Belt! I picked the belt, even though you can't see it. The belt! What are we up to? Five? I think we're up to number five. So number six. Three, two, one. 
Breastplate! Ah, oh, you're a much more difficult foe than I had anticipated. Don't worry, I'll get you next time. Three, two, one. Belt! I picked the belt. Belt. Three, two, one. Herald! Do, 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 do. You're a much stronger foe. I'll get you this last time. I promise I will. Three, two, one. Belt! This is my final chance. If you beat me, you go on to the rest of the video. But I won't let that happen. Final one. Three, two, one. Herald! Do, 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 do. Oh, you have beaten me. Go, go on to the rest of the video, please. everyone, it's Lauren. I hope you've been learning lots about how to fight the battle against sin these past two weeks. Last week we learned that to fight against Satan we need to put on the belt of truth. We need to know the truth about God in order to fight against Satan's lies. Satan will try and stop us from loving God by telling us lies. That's why we need to protect ourselves by putting on the armour of God. We know that with the armour of God we can win against sin because Jesus has already won. Today we're going to be learning about the next piece of armour, the breastplate of righteousness. Now in the armour of a Roman soldier, the breastplate served as protection for some of the most important parts of the body. Now the breastplate probably looked a little something like this, but underneath the breastplate is the heart, the lungs and other really important organs that are necessary for life. If a soldier wasn't wearing a breastplate, he could have been killed. So what is righteousness if we're learning about the breastplate of righteousness? Righteousness is being right with God. We are righteous when we follow God and don't let sin into our hearts. That's why Paul says in Ephesians that we need to put on the breastplate of righteousness. When we put on the breastplate of righteousness, we're protecting our hearts against sin and learning to be righteous. That means that we're learning to be right with God. If we don't protect ourselves with the breastplate of righteousness, we might be attacked by the devil and fall into sin, forgetting about God. Now, for this next part, my assistant, Laura, is going to help us. Hey, Lauren! Hey, Laura! So I put on my breastplate of righteousness. Now I'm all protected against sin! Laura? Yeah, you know, I feel so protected in this. Nothing can hurt me now. This is a little awkward. What? The breastplate of righteousness isn't something we actually wear. What? Yeah, wearing paper won't protect you from sin. Oh, well, how do you put on the breastplate of righteousness then? Psalm 119 says, I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. We need to keep seeking God with our whole heart, keep his commands and remember his words in our hearts. That's why we learn memory verses, so we can remember what God says to us. Then we can keep doing what God wants us to do and be protected against sin. When we don't follow what God wants, we aren't wearing the breastplate of righteousness. This makes it easier for Satan to come in and encourage us to sin even more. But if we put on the breastplate of righteousness every day, then it will be really hard for him to lead us into sin because we'll be focused on following the commands God gives us. But I don't think I'll ever be that good. Exactly. We might be able to become a little more righteous when we put on the breastplate of righteousness, but we'll never become entirely righteous. The only one who ever lived a life that was perfectly right with God was Jesus. The good news is, is that when we seek God and trust in him, Jesus gives us righteousness. That's why we know that God has won the battle. Jesus never sinned and he died so that we could become right with God. 
Romans 3.22 says righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. If we have faith in Jesus, God will look at us and see Jesus' righteousness instead of our own sin when he comes to judge the world. This is great news, but we still struggle with sin in our lives. And this is why we need to keep listening to what Jesus says in the Bible instead of listening to other things in the world. This is why we need to keep praying that God would help us to live his way instead of the way Satan wants us to live. When we pray, God will give us the strength to live righteously. When we put on the breastplate of righteousness, we remember God's way and we can fight the devil's attacks. Oh, so do you think I should take off this breastplate I made now? Maybe. And fix your spelling too, it's just a little bit wrong. Hello again. We're just going to wrap the talk up in prayer, so please bow your heads in prayer with me. Heavenly Father, thank you that Jesus is righteous. Thank you that by his righteousness we are saved. We pray that you can help us to be righteous just like Jesus is. And we pray that other people may see how different we are and that they can hear of the gospel too. Amen. Hello everyone. Uh, for today's memory verse, you need to grab this sheet that you should have gotten in your uh, worksheet pack. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to pause the video right here and I want to see how many of these you can fill in just from memory. It is a memory verse for a reason, guys. But it's okay if you've forgotten one or two of them because immediately after this bit, we're going to do the memory verse. All right? to need eight pieces of paper. It can be coloured paper or plain paper, some ribbon, two pieces, some scissors, some sticky tape, pens and pencils, and then for decoration you can use anything you like. Here I've got some coloured markers, some glitter and some glue. We're going to have four pieces of paper and we're going to use the sticky tape to connect them. So we're going to join them up along the longer side. Stick that down and repeat. And then you're going to take those two, like so. Now for this, you're going to need a little bit longer amount of paper tape. And you're going to stick along that edge. And with your remaining four pieces of paper, you're going to do that all again. In case you guys haven't already guessed, we're making the chest plate of righteousness. So now we're going to just draw out a quick template for a chest plate. We're going to grab our scissors and we're going to cut around these lines. And now we're going to do the same to our other piece of paper. 
Great, now that we've got our two chest plate shaped pieces of paper, we're going to put one to the side while we decorate the front of our chest plate. What we're going to do on the front is write righteousness. So do you want to go ahead and grab a colored marker or pencil and write out righteousness. Great, now you can decorate this however you like. I'm going to be using a little bit of glitter, but you can use whatever you like. So now once you've done decorating the front of your chest plate, you're going to swap to the back side. Now on the back side, we're going to be writing our memory verse from this term. So if you need to sing the song to remember, you can do that. And we're just going to write it out. Yeah. Great, now that we've got the front and back decorated, we can put them all together. So what you're going to do is grab one of these shoulders, fold it, and make a small incision, making sure not to cut your fingers. And then a little bit sideways, just so you can sew your ribbon through later. Let's do that to the same to the other side. This bit can be a little bit difficult, so if you need your parents to help, Make sure you ask. And to the back as well. Now we're going to line up the front and the back, laying them down like this. One piece of ribbon, push it through front, through the back, tie one knot like this, it'll be loose, fold them over and tie it again and pull them both tight. Make sure you can pull them apart. And then just do the same to the other side. So there you have it. Chest plate of righteousness. Unfortunately, that's all we've got for Quake this week. Uh, yeah, I know, it's really sad. But good news is that you're closer to Quake for week four happening. So, woo, get keen for that. Um, yeah, all the leaders at Quake, hope you enjoyed it this week. We hope you had fun. Um, yeah, remember to keep loving Jesus, and we'll see you next time. Bye!